when we discussed LinkedIn, we talked about the two primary features, our profile and network. Now, let's work on those features for Anita. I was able to upload her picture and create a profile based on the information in her resume. Listed are her experience as well as her education. If we were interested and they were applicable, we could also add volunteer work, publications, organizations, and other things in the left-hand column. If you wanted to create a network, you could click on the Networking tab and then Add Connections. You could then click on Add Connections again, and this will take you to all your email accounts. By clicking Continue, LinkedIn finds that Charles Devlin is already a LinkedIn user. So if we click on Add Connections, it will send an email to Mr. Devlin. After that, LinkedIn will go through your other email accounts to see if you may have other contacts. There is also a search feature to find other individuals you would like to add to your network. Once in your network, individuals can endorse your skills or write a letter on your behalf. As you can see, Mr. Devlin has endorsed us for CPR as well as customer service. He's also written a recommendation letter on our behalf. Additionally, you could use this mail feature to compose an email to all your contacts, asking them for letters of recommendation and to advise them of your job search. That concludes our overview of LinkedIn. Let's return to the path and see what comes next.